Hello there Capricorn, thank you for stopping by for your video tarot forecast for the week November 10th through the 16th. The deck that I'm using today is my Law of Attraction Tarot and so let's just get started. On Monday what we have for you is we have the Knave of Cups coming in upside down. So the Knave of Cups is really telling me that there is some kind of emotional message that you are going to be passing along to somebody that's going to be uncomfortable for you to pass it along. It's going to be something that is hard for you to say to this other person. So Monday, that's what I see going on for you, Capricorn. Tuesday, what we have is we have the Queen of Swords showing up. Now the Queen of Swords really is talking about that you're having a situation coming in on Tuesday where you're in an argument or a disagreement. This is something that is very logical going on where you're not on the same page with somebody else in your life. And so um, this is one of those things where it looks like you may have to come to a point where you just kind of agree to disagree um, to make all of this work out for you. Okay, so Tuesday, that was Thursday, Wednesday, what we have is we have an Ace of Swords coming up reversed. Now an Ace of Swords coming up reversed is just telling me that you have good ideas to pass along to other people in your life and you are sharing them today. Um, warning. <laughs> when we're sharing good ideas, it's really great if we can remember that it's our job to share those ideas. It is the other person's job to figure out how they want to use those ideas, if they want to use those ideas. So once we've shared the ideas, it's best to step back and release and then let them move forward with the ideas if they choose to. All right, so that's Wednesday. Thursday, what we have coming up is we have this card. Now this card, I can't even remember the name of it, but it mostly, it pretty much corresponds to a tower card in any other deck, and it's coming up reversed. And so this just means that right now there's something going on in our lives, in your life, Capricorn, where you are repaying some kind of karmic debt, whether it's from a past life or whether it's from this life. But Thursday, something's going on where um, where you, there's just a karmic debt that it just has to be paid and there's not really any way around it. It's, it's just payment is coming out today. So I would say buckle your seatbelt, get ready. It's going to be an interesting day for you on Thursday, Capricorn. Okay, Friday is a little better. Friday, you have the Justice card coming up. This just means that on Friday, there's something going on. Um, this could be something in a court situation. This could be something at work or even in a family situation. But this is a situation where somebody is judging you and judging your actions and your motivations. And what's happening is they are taking the time to find the full picture. And so judgment is going to be served. Now, for those of you who have been acting above board and pretty much as you know that you should, then this is a good thing. Justice will be served. You'll have what you deserve out of this. If However, you're on the other hand, you've been acting kind of below board and being kind of sneaky and trying to see what you can get away with. Guess what? Not such a good card for you. Justice will be served either way. Okay? So that's what's going on on Friday. Saturday, looks like we have the Empress in reverse. Now this can mean a couple of things and it's going to pan out a couple of different ways for some of you Capricorns. For some of you guy Capricorns that have a female, well, I won't even limit it to guys because that's just silly and prejudiced, but for some of you Capricorns who have a female partner that you try very hard to please normally, she is going to be <laughs> a little harder than usual to please. She's going to be moody. There's something going on in her life that is making her crankier than usual. So do the best you can. Keep your head low, <laughs> kind of like basic training. Keep your head low and be quiet and just wait for the storm to pass here. Um, for some of the rest of you Capricorns, um, some of you females especially, this is going to be kind of a tough day for you. You're going to notice yourself being more emotional than usual and it's going to drive you to be more demanding than you normally would, more perfectionist than you normally would. You have um, some anger, really. What I'm feeling is a lot of anger. I'm just feeling absolutely pissed off as I'm feeling you guys um, on Saturday. And so it's causing you to be quite demanding. And you may want to step back and take a look at that and make sure that that anger is really justified and make sure that the reaction that you're having 
is in proportion to what actually it was that spurred this feeling in you. Okay? So that's Capricorn on Saturday. And then on Sunday, Nine of Wands. It looks like we are moving forward progressively. Sunday is a good thing. I love this card. This card really just talks about, you know, yeah, there are problems in life, but we just step over them. <laughs> we have creativity. We have problem-solving abilities. We just move through them as if they're nothing. We just step over these problems like they're little puddles on the road. Okay? So that looks like what's going to be happening on Saturday, on Sunday. You're going to have a few little problems come up, just stepping over them like they're puddles on the road. No big deal. You can handle them. Okay? So that is your week, Capricorn. Now, I do have an exciting new announcement to make this week. Um, the deck that I use, this Law of Attraction Tarot deck that I use today, I am giving this deck away. The reason I'm giving it away is because I've had it for two or three months, and I haven't connected with it at a level that I normally connect with my tarot decks. And so that tells me, because I was drawn to buy this deck, that there's somebody out there that needs this deck. <laughs> and they would not have it if I was not somehow in their lives. So for those of you who are interested in having this deck, what I'm doing is I'm doing a contest giveaway. It's a Law of Attraction Tarot giveaway. And if you would like to enter the giveaway and see if you can win this deck, then what I need for you to do is text or call me, and you can find my phone number on my website. It's www.amista.info, I-N-F-O. So www.amista.info to find my phone number. Once you've found my phone number, then text or call me sometime between November 5th and November, November 16th. Okay, that's the deadline for this contest. Now, when you call or text, I want to hear the words or I want to read the words. I want that deck. <laughs> I'm also going to need some other information from you. I'm going to need your name. I'm going to need the best phone number to reach you at should you happen to win. And then I am also going to need, if you are calling from outside the United States, I'm going to need to know what country you're calling from so I know what country code I have to look up if I need to get in touch with you and let you know you've won the deck. Okay, so that's how you enter the Law of Attraction Tarot giveaway. And then what happens is after November 16th, I'm going to choose a friend. I don't know who that's going to be yet, but it's going to be a friend of mine that has had no contact with any of you guys. Be totally objective to just look at my list of names and pick a name. Now, whoever that person picks, that's going to be the winner of the deck. And then I'm going to contact them to find out you know, where to mail the deck to for them. For um, the case that I can't get in contact with that person, I try and I don't hear back from them within three days, then I'm going to have somebody, another friend of mine, choose um, another name randomly and we'll just keep going from there until we find somebody. This deck is definitely going to have a happy new home before this is all over. And in a couple of weeks, then I'll be announcing who actually won my Law of Attraction Tarot deck. Okay, so that's that. What else do you guys need to know today? Oh, yeah, if you want to schedule a private session with me, please feel free to check out my website. Make sure I am the right reader for you. I'm at www.amista.info. Once you've checked me out, if you still want a reading with me, feel free to contact me. Several different ways right there. And then we will schedule an appointment for you. For everybody else, I will see you next week. Everyone have a good week. Peace out.